Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the ballpark with Rex Hudler. I'm Ryan Lefevre. Game one was an exciting one. There were parts of the game where it looked like it was leading toward another disappointing late inning loss for the Royals, but uh, they rallied late and took game one. Man, I tell you what, if they hadn't had Brad Keller on the mound to shut that Cleveland Indians offense down, I don't know what would have happened, but he was impressive. I tell you, he got ahead with his four seam and two seam fastballs and finished them with his slider, but I loved his tempo. And of course, you can't win a big game unless you get a big hit. Franco, he went ahead and helped his team. Look at the energy this guy brings. Bubba Starling, are you kidding? Just sitting on the bench for a week and coming off having seen live pitching and deliver the go-ahead RBI? Man, that's fantastic. It's earned him a start in tonight's lineup. Tonight's starters would like to pick up where last night's left off, and that's Matt Harvey for the Royals and Zach Plesak for the Indians. There was some humidity today, but it is a very comfortable night at Kauffman Stadium as the Royals take the field after an exciting 2-1 to -one victory last night. And we were talking about how the Cleveland Indians have been struggling offensively. And then Brad Keller, Jesse Hahn, Scott Barlow, and Greg Holland held the Indians to one run on six hits. Their only change tonight in their lineup, Josh Naylor, who has just acquired from the Padres will get his first start. He will be in left field and bat seventh. And tonight Matt Harvey makes his third start and Hudge is trying to figure out a way to build on two strong innings, which he's had in his first two starts. He can do it. I kind of believe he can, especially the, the first two, like like the, the first few innings, first two innings, 188 opponent average. He was dealing, and all of a sudden, you know, the next two two starts, same thing, second time around, 667 average. So missing something in his repertoire, and it's got to be that fastball. Stay with it. He's going away from it some. Let's see if he can repeat it. Have some good outing here. Go deep. Ford around the horn. Royals defense behind him. Bubba Starling. He makes his eighth start in center field. Had the big hit last night. His first at bat in eight days. That's unbelievable. Infield. Whit Merrifield at second for the eighth start. And Nicky Lopez over there at shortstop. He made 33 appearances at shortstop last year. He should have no trouble, especially the hands he's got. There's our crew chief. Ed Hickox, he is at second base. And the home plate umpire is Jordan Baker. Third base umpire is Paul Clemens, who grew up in Topeka. The Royals, since he came along in 2015, you know that's nothing new. Lindor getting big hits against the Royals. A lot of changes in there tonight. Hunter Dozier is in left. Alex Gordon is not in the lineup. Ryan McBroom is in there as the DH. Nicky Lopez is at short. Bubba Starling gets a start. And here's Zach Plesak, who is off to a good start. He has a 1.29 ERA in three starts, but he has not pitched since August 8th. Well, so don't let him settle in and get comfortable. That's the main thing against this guy. The numbers are fantastic. 160 opponent batting average. He's got tremendous stuff. Like every pitcher the Royals have, have been facing lately, seems like they're on top of their game.